Hello and welcome to your 51st SQL Server tutorial. My name is Johnny DeLuca and today I want to talk to you about temporary tables, how to create and use temporary tables. You can create local and global temporary tables. Local temporary tables are available within the scope of the current session and are dropped at the end of the session. They must be prefixed with a pound or hashtag sign. Global temporary tables are available for all sessions and are dropped when the session that created them and all referencing sessions are closed. They must be prefixed with two pound or hashtag sign. The syntax for creating either is exactly the same as for creating a traditional table, but you must include the pound sign as I just noted. Unlike with the other two temporary objects, Space is allocated for temporary tables. Note that table variables are not typically written to disk, but in some cases they may use resources. Alright, let's take a look at how to create and use a temporary table. Alright, go ahead and type in this bit of code right here. And then go ahead. Uh, this code creates the temporary table and then inserts the results of a query into the temporary table. Okay, so let's execute that. Okay, success. 12 rows affected. Now, let's go grab this select statement right here. Okay, so the select statement is going to reference the temporary table and join it to the person table. Okay, let's paste that guy in right there. Go ahead and execute. And this is actually good that this happened because now I get a chance to explain something. Now, as we see, we ran the query again with the appended select statement, but we get this error. And the reason why we're getting this error is because the temp table already exists. And this is because the session is still open. So if we open a new query editor and rerun the query, it will succeed. Once a, success, uh, once a session that references the temporary table is closed or ended, then the temporary table is automatically dropped. This is the one disadvantage of using temporary tables as opposed to CTEs and table variables. While the later two are automatically removed, the temporary table must be explicitly dropped within the same session or the session must be ended. It should be noted that table variables and temporary tables can be declared with primary keys and indexes to improve performance. However, indexes should not be added to temporary tables after they are created because doing so could negatively affect execution plan. So, okay. Now let's see the example. Let's close. Let's copy this. And let's just close out this window altogether. Boom. All right. Now, how about a new query? Now, let's paste our code back in and execute. And there we go, just as I said. So, pretty cool. Um, you now know how to create and use temporary tables. You know that you must close out. Otherwise, it'll give you an error saying that the object's already in use, the temporary table's already in use. And thanks for stopping by. In my next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to handle PSQL errors. We'll be going over the begin try, end try, begin catch, end catch, and all those good things. All right. See you in the next tutorial.